Yo, excuse me, darling. Jump for garden. Look at our fleek, and I beg your pardon. Hey, from morning. Got sweet one calling. Hi my loves, it's your girl Yvette and I'm here with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I make videos about beauty, lifestyle, and business and if those are the type of videos you are interested in, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. For today's video, I'll be doing a breakdown of different types of wig to kind of help you guys in the picking process when you are purchasing a wig to kind of explain things and make things a bit easier for you guys. The first type of wig we will be talking about are lace frontal wigs. Those are the most common types of wigs. They usually run 13 by 4 or 13 by 6. So um, 13 inches as in the front of your head and then 4 inches back. Um, the 13 by 6 would be 6 inches back so you would have more parting space. So those are great for a full install. The next type of wigs are closure wigs. Closure wigs run from 4x4, 5x5, 6x6, and even sometimes 7x7. Um, I usually recommend for a closure wig if you want a regular wig to get the 4x4 and if you want a little bit more parting space to get a 6x6 just so you have the 6 inches of parting space. Um, and those are really nice because closure wigs usually run a bit cheaper than frontal wigs because um, the lace is kind of just... 4x4, 5x5, 6x6 as opposed to a full hairline. So a little bit lace, a little bit less lace in the front, but also less expensive. The next type of wig we'll be talking about is a T-part wig. Um, a T-part wig is usually um lace in the front and then just a line right in the middle in the parting area. Um, those wigs are also nice because they tend to run a bit cheaper, but I wouldn't recommend them as much because you don't have as much um, as much parting space so you can't really change your part if it's a middle part you're stuck with the middle part if it's a side part you're stuck with the side part so you don't really have the versatility but they do tend to run a bit cheaper so, so if you're looking for a cheaper alternative those would be a good choice the next type of wig is headband wigs. These are kind of a new trend that has come along in the past few years. Um, we never, they never re really used to do wigs like that and they recently started coming out with headband wigs. And I actually really love headband wigs. I feel like they're very convenient, they're very affordable. They tend to run cheaper because they don't have any lace on it. Um, it's usually just the wig with the headband in the front. Um, I usually recommend these for people that work out, like myself. I find them to be a bit easier in terms of maintenance, in terms of putting on and taking off if need be. Um, and yeah, they're just very convenient, but they do not have any lace. So I wouldn't recommend if you're looking to part it in any type of way. Um, with the headband wigs, um, people tend to do a flip over method or you just tie it back. Next wig we'll be talking about are the 360 lace wigs. These are great because you have lace all the way from the front to the back. Um, they're very uh, convenient for different partings and also very great if you like to do updos. So like a ponytail look would be perfect with a 360 wigs. Um, they're really nice because it gives you the full look. You get the lace in the front, the lace in the back. So you get a lot of options in terms of like how you want to style it. The next type of wig is the full lace wigs and I feel like these are top tier wigs because the full wig is made out of lace. Um, in terms of the styles that you can do with that, the possibilities are endless. It does run a bit more expensive because it is a full lace wig and it's completely made out of lace which takes more time to make so therefore a higher price tag with it but if you do have a chance to get a full lace wig i always suggest it because you can just do so much with it and especially if you're somebody that likes to style your hair very differently a full lace wig would just be perfect so now we're going to go into how the wig is made um so there's three different terms that i usually hear in terms of how a wig is made so the first one is factory made wigs factory made wigs are usually the wigs that you buy straight from the factory they're already pre-made pre-sewn um those are the most common type of wigs that people will buy the second type of wigs are machine made wigs those are wigs that are made as per the name on a sewing machine uh those are great because it's a bit easier to change the lace on those, um, maintenance on those is a bit easier if you want to add bundles, remove bundles, those kind of things. Um, those are machine made wigs. 
The last term that I hear is custom made wigs and for me those are the same as machine made wigs they're the exact same um, I feel like the only difference that might be in a custom made, made wig as opposed to um, the machine made wigs is maybe a custom made wig is customized to your head size so I feel like that would be the big difference between custom made wigs and machine made wigs but they're both made on a sewing machine um, and they're both customizable in terms of adding bundles in terms of changing the lace um, but those are like the three main types of wigs that I usually hear commonly. I hope this video was very helpful. I hope you were able to make your decision based on the information that I've given you guys. Um, if you like these type of videos about hair and beauty, lifestyle, all those good stuff, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see more of me. And as always, remember you are beautifully made in God's image. Until next time, bye. Oh, my she ain't gonna also be for action, Tori.